Hi, everyone. This is Bob Gassell from the Marx Brothers Council podcast. I'm here with the inaugural segment of my new show, Bob Nitpicks the Edits in Marx Brothers Films, or whatever we're going to call it. We'll call it something else, but that's what I'm calling it right now. Bob Gassell edits the nitpicks, whatever, in Marx Brothers Films. So this is the first episode. And today we're going to look at this little gag I saw last night in Monkey Business uh, when it aired on uh, Turner Classic Movies. Now, we've all seen the film a million times, and I've seen it a million times. And one little edit uh, made made me uh, smirk. Uh, I am a TV editor by trade, so these things uh, tend to uh, stick out for me, uh, maybe more than most people. So why don't we uh, take a look at the scene, and then I'll go through it, uh, what, what happened, why it was done the way it was, and how I would have edited it. So let's go to the film. Stuff, you know, when he said that to me, you could have knocked me over with a feather. He gives you service. Okay, there it is. A simple gag. Not much to it. But I shrugged when I saw this. Uh, I thought it was a real sloppy edit. But after examining it a little, I saw exactly why it had to be done this way. I'm going to play it for you again, and I want you to notice how Harpo pulls the feather back to his body before the cut, and then again after. Now, you might be thinking, that's an easy fix. Why don't they just cut the scene before Harpo pulls his arm back? Well, if you did that, look what happens. You know, when he said that to me, you could have knocked me over with a feather. You miss Groucho falling over. So the cut had to happen when it did. Still, it would have been smoother had Harpo already pulled the feather back somewhat when they cut to him. Here's what that would look like. You know, when he said that to me, it could have knocked me over with a feather. I want to point out one more thing that I noticed. We're going to slow it down, and in a moment, close up on Harpo's hand after he pulls the feather back. He makes a definite flicking motion, as if he's throwing something away. I'm going to repeat it a few times. I don't think they were supposed to be wide enough for us to see that there was nothing in his hand. My guess here is that they shot a version where there was going to be no insert shot of Harpo and that he was just supposed to throw the bar on the ground. But perhaps they thought it didn't register what was going on unless you clearly saw Harpo actually pull the bar away from the feather. So it's hitting you over the head, so to speak. So I'm going to play the gag one more time with that variation. This is how I might have edited it. You know, when he said that to me, you could have knocked me over with a feather. He gives you service. Well, it looks like we're up against it. It's up to you to get us a passport. And there you have it. There is a waste of about uh, three minutes of your life that you're not going to get back. But hope you enjoyed it anyhow. And join us next time on our next episode of Bob criticizes the edits and nitpicks at the edits of the Marx Brothers films. We'll come up with a title by then.